Hello, everybody, and welcome to Evil Ted Live here on twitch.tv slash Evil Ted Smith. Uh, today, we're making a weapon. I'm going to do a gun. It's kind of uh, based on uh, Destiny, but there's a gun I found on Pinterest. I really like the design. So I'm going to make a foam fabricate a weapon today. So mostly people get in a computer and draw it and have it all laid out, but I'm kind of doing old school today because I... Uh, there's, a, there's a program out there you can get, take images and draw to like a silhouette and print it out, but I have not yet learned it. But I'm going to draw it out on a piece of poster board and make it into a pattern. So you guys ready? I know I am. Let's get started. <clears throat> okay, there it is. This is the uh, kind of the layout of the gun I want to make. It's um, kind of a giant like hand cannon revolver or not what. But uh, I'm going to draw this out. I'm going to do this as my blueprint. I'm just doing everything in pencil. And when I'm done, I'm going to go back in with a fine tip sharpie and get this drawn out. So this is the image that I'm working from. And I'm just going to look at that and try to adapt as much as I can. Here's where we're at so far. <clears throat> I'm uh, Right now, I'm just ink I'm inking the detail. Once this is all done, I'm going to have some poster board. I'm going to cut this all apart and trace these parts onto foam. For my foam gun. So the next step is to remove it, trim it up with the exacto blade. Now I have this cut out, my pattern. I'm going to proceed to trace this onto my foam. Now what this is actually is I have a TNT cosplay supply foam. Great stuff. It's rigid, smooth on both sides. I glued two 10 millimeter pieces of foam and a five millimeter foam to get the desired thickness that I want for my pistol. Now that I have that, I'm going to trace the majority shape of this gun, but there's certain things I'm not gonna bother tracing. Like I don't need the uh, move the hammer and the trigger <clears throat> to make this easier because these are definitely gonna be separate pieces of foam I will attach later. So I don't need these on the main body of the gun. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these off. The more I look at it, I'm going to go ahead and remove the sights as well, too. These are pieces that will be separate pieces of foam on top of the gun, so I don't need to worry about trying to. Now, I have a, this chalk marker. If you guys wonder where you can get these, I have a link for these just below my video. I'm going to go to my website. I'm going to go ahead and just chalk this out. For this top part, I'm going to just take a straight edge and get my blade. Because I could push this through a bandsaw, but my fear is I'm not going to get it's not going to come out nice and clean and straight like I'd like it to be. So I proceed to use the uh, my box cutter. And there it is. Nice and square. Then I'm going to trace the, uh, trace the majority of the body of the gun out here. I'm going to take my scroll saw. I'm going to cut the excess stuff out of here and get the nice shapes of this handle. But uh, it's not set up for a camera, so I'm going to go off camera for this, but I will be right back. Okay, there it is. I went ahead and cut out the majority. This is the shape of the gun. Now, to get this out, I went and just cut into it and went all the way around. Okay, I can just glue this back together, so that's not an issue. You can see these all have uh, the saw blade from the, uh, the the scroll saw. I'm going to go ahead and take a sanding stick and flatten these up and clean these up. Okay. This is the magazine for my gun. I realize that for the detail of this, I'm going to wrap it with some craft foam for the detail, which will make this thicker. By making it thicker, it's going to be even bigger. So thus. My call is not to sand the finesse it right now. So you're going to take a, my blade and cut out, compensate the thickness of the foam. So it needs to be a little bit bigger than this. So with that being said, before I do any sanding, I'm going to go ahead and cut out. Okay. All right, now we went ahead and cut it out. So now the, the chamber fits in just right. As a matter of fact, uh, compensate for the thickness of the foam, which gets me thinking, let's go ahead and wrap this in foam and make sure I get the, uh, the precise fit that I want. So let's do that next. All right, there's my pattern for my detail. I have my thin foam. Going right up, straight on the edge, the factory edge, nice and square. 
going to come back in. Like that. This is the screw. Cut it up. There, like this. Now for these round parts, let me see if I have a piece of brass tubing that might be that same diameter. Perfect, see? So what I do is I go back in here, make sure they're perfectly round. I just kind of take that brass tube. Now, take the exacto blade, line it up. See, perfect. Now it lines up like a charm. So next what we'll do is we'll be gluing this onto that. Hey everybody, well that concludes part one of making a foam weapon here on the Evil Ted channel slash the Evil Ted. <laughs> Sorry. Twitch.tv slash Evil Ted right here on the Twitch. And all you people on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. And also if you're looking at everything I've built in this video and you're looking for where to get this stuff, go to the links below. If you like it, leave comments. Double subscribe. Go to my website, evilTedSmith.com. And get on my mailing list. And while you're there, you can shop on my my stores, shop through my store in the patterns. I also have Amazon links for all the supplies. So if you shop through those, buy patterns, that helps me keep making videos. You like what I do? Let's keep this machine going. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you back next time right here on Evil Ted Live.